Hey guys, thanks for stopping by my channel today. I'm so happy you're here with me as we discuss my new venture into candles. It's not super new. I brought them out last year and I thought I would just share with you. If you don't know who I am guys, my name is Tammy and I own a small bath and body company here in Greencastle, Indiana and I just share my stuff with you. That's all I do. I share. <laughs> Speaking of that, let me put a little caveat on this video. If you found this this video for the first time and you're thinking that you're seeing somebody that is an expert in candle making, be warned, I am not. I just am sharing what I do to get my candles to market. Now, that being said, if you are new here and you are looking for really good information on candles and what to do and what not to do, read the comments. My subscribers are the best. They are awesome and they will let me know if I'm doing something wrong. And I love that about them. And they will give you information too if you read the comments. So that being said, let's get on with my candles and what I'm doing with my testing. L let's wait. I had to grab them. I can't talk about them without having them in my hand. So here are some jars that I have been testing um, that didn't turn out for me. Like this is apple cider oak with 735, Premier 735. It didn't really turn out for me. I felt like the uh, scent was just not there for me. So I didn't care for that one. This one is Christmas Hearth. Guys, Christmas Hearth from Candle Science. I am in love with the scent. This is very strong. Um, I do a, a rating of like, you know, one to five, and this is a solid three to four, depending on the room. And it, you know, it's funny how it starts off before it gets a couple burns in. It was only like two and a half. Still very good for the first couple burns, but man, when it started going, whoo. So I'm gonna be retesting this one with a bigger wick because as you can see, maybe, I have some, uh, wax up on the side of the jar. So I, I went through one, two, three, four, five, six, six tests, three hour burns, and there's still quite a bit of wax on the side. So I'm giving up on that and I'm just going to retest that one. That's a good one. And then this one, lemon blueberry crumble, which is out of the bottle is amazing. I love that scent, but my scent range really was pretty low in the beginning stages, one to one and a half, you know, and I'm thinking, will people really burn one, two, three, four times before they're happy with the scent? I mean, it took me four times burning this to get to two and a half. And then, you know, then it was pretty good at two and a half. So I'm just not sure about that. And I also have quite a bit of wax on the sides, but this is my second test. This is a 740 and the flame was still kind of small. So I think I'm going to retest this with a bigger flame and go up to a 745 flame or wick. So if you will notice my papers, I will not show you my handwriting. Guys, my handwriting. <laughs> I used to, I go on rabbit trails too, if you're new here, sorry, but it's just what I do. I go off on rabbit trails, but I used to, I, before I got my cards, I would write my thank you notes to my orders on the uh, purchase order or the packing slip or whatever. I would throw those away and start over two or three times. Then I bought cards. I designed cards off of Cam Canva and I would be all sloppy and I would throw them away and redo them. I was so embarrassed about my handwriting. Now I don't care. <laughs> I just don't care. I have more important things to do than worry about my handwriting. It's not like I don't try. I do try to make it re <laughs> you know, readable. <laughs> all right, so this one is apple cider donut that's sitting right in front of me, right here. And it is on its one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh burn. And it's a solid three. Pretty happy. It started with a two. Those first couple burns can be a little light. Um, but it's a solid three. So just let me explain my paper to you while I have it in my hand. This piece of paper follows my candle. So 
my candle burning is not stagnant. I will take a candle and every single time I burn it, I move it to a different room or a different location in a room. So it'll, it'll start off in my bedroom and then it goes into my product room and then I'll burn it over here and then I'll burn it in the bathroom and then I burn it in the dining room, living room, kitchen. And I, every single time I burn it, I do put it in a different room because I really have noticed changing the location of a candle makes a difference. So, you know, my bedroom, I gave it a two. My craft room, I gave it a three, which is this room. I call this my craft room. Um, my product room, I gave it a three. Uh, so it, it depends on the size of the room, how much, you know, uh, the, the airflow, is there events in that room? Are people walking by it? Those, those kind of things. But I literally, this piece of paper follows that candle everywhere it goes. Now I've tried to print off like candle testing sheets, but again, my handwriting is not only kind of sloppy, but it's also very big and I cannot write that small. And then if I try, I cannot read it. So this allows me to put the information on here that I want and uh, be able to read it. And then I can, I can type this into my notes section on my Soapmaker 3 software. That's how I do it. So I do, you know, um, kitchen, wick was okay, full melt pool, scent, one and a half to two. That was the first burn on this apple cider donut. Uh, the third burn, I was in my bedroom. The flame was okay. There was a little bit of wax on the side. Scent was a three or two. Um, by, by the next burn, I was in the kitchen. I had a full melt pool, no wax on the side. Scent was still two. And then after that, it went up to a three. It got stronger after it hit that full melt pool. And um, it's been a three pretty well ever since. Now, I would like to keep, I like a four. I'm really happy with a four. I think a three is fine, especially if someone's going to put this in a bathroom. Three would be a plenty strong enough, I think, for personally, this is, I think a three in a bathroom is perfect. You know, um, a three in a very large room, not going to be good. <laughs> so I, it's hard, it's hard for me to gauge. So I can only go by what I feel. And then I, I rate them according to that. And then that's how I do it, guys. I don't know how people do it. I don't know if there's a, a way to really, it's so subjective. That's how I test. I still have a little bit of wax up on the side of this jar, but also my wick is a little off center. So I'm not going to say that the wick is the wrong size because of that. As long as it catches up, I, I, you know, I think that makes a difference. I also may try to go up to a, a 740 in this and just see what happens. Or I may increase my fragrance oil a little bit and just see what happens. Here's what I'm not sure. And what burn should I have a full melt pool? I know I don't want a full melt bowl, pool on, on the first burn, but let's see. This took me, what I say? One, two four burns to get to a full melt pool and it's about three and a half inch in, in diameter and I'm burning it for three and a half hours. Anyway, there we go. So how do I clean my jars? I will take a tray. Let me just get it for you. <laughs> it's kind of messy. I have a metal pizza stone that I got from Walmart and a baking sheet or not baking sheet, but a cookie cake pan that I got from Walmart. I started off with the throwaway metal tin, you know, baking things, but it got a hole in it. <sighs> I would recommend a solid surface thing to melt this in. Uh, and what I will do is I will take the label off, turn it upside down and bake it at 170 until all the wax is melted and, and out of the jar at least. And then Okay, so once that, and I thought about trying to show you guys this, but honestly, I just don't have it in me this, this month to do that. But what I do is I will um, wipe out with just a paper towel, all the wax. I take the wick out. I do hot glue my wicks when I do my test because the wick stickers stick. 
and I cannot get those suckers off the jars. I've had to throw those away because I can't, I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to break the jar trying to get the wick out. So I hot glue when I do my testing. Well, there's quite a bit of wax residue even with that. Even if you were to wash it, it seems like there's some wax residue. And I have a trick to get that residue off. And I saw this on YouTube a while back and I do not know who who or where or how I saw it, but I took some cheap, cheap like vegetable oil out of my kitchen cabinet, wet, uh, got a paper towel wet and wiped it down with some vegetable oil. And then I wash it with a really good dishwashing soap. That gets most of that residue off. So then I have a clean jar with not a wick sticker, clean, I, the glue comes off the, the wick in the jar and I can retest that way. So that is how I do my candle testing and cleaning my jars. So I'm gonna go clean these jars. <sighs> All right guys, I'm not exactly sure where I ended the previous video at or where I'm going to end. I kind of just trailed off at the end and uh, gave up talking. <laughs> It's been a it's been a hard few weeks, <laughs> and I I am trying to uh, jump back in here. Um, so I want to try to finish this so I can get it edited, and I'm not sure where I left off, but I did want to say a, a few extra things for you. I did after that uh, melt all my candles down and redo more tests. I'm I'm currently testing another batch. I have four in front of me that failed that second test. This is tunneling, so I'm gonna be going up a wick size in that one. This one just doesn't have very good scent and it's also tunneling, so I may go up in wick and up in fragrance just a tad bit because I do I do test at 9%. So I could go up to 10 to 12. I could, I could go up to 12 on this wax, I think. If I'm wrong, I'll, I'll mark that. Uh, French toast. Is, was one of my best sellers last year. I did change jars. I don't know if I told you guys that. I, I went to a nine ounce straight sided jar and I was using like mason jars. I, I had this, this was last year in my mason jars and it was one of my best sellers, this and pumpkin souffle. So these are two, two of my candles I really do wanna make sure I'm getting right because I wanna make sure I have these again this year. Uh, but it's tunneling just a bit and the scent was good, but it could be better. So I may again go up in my wax and just go maybe up to nine and a half to 10% on my fragrance sold and see what happens. Uh, this one is, it has a little bit of wax on the sides, but it may be off center just a little bit because you can see this side doesn't have any wax if you, if you can. And then this side has quite a bit of wax on the side. So, uh, I think that wick is just slightly off center, but the scent is just, it just doesn't have much of scent. This is vanilla cotton, but I can't remember what fragrance company this is. Uh, Nature's Garden, vanilla cotton. It's just not working out for me. I don't know if I'm going to try again with that one or just move on at this point. But that's, that's what I'm doing. I also wanted to let you guys know that once I get my wick figured out, I do do one of those um, tests where, I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, I'm sorry. It's, a, it's kind of like a stress test, but that's not the right word. Where you burn for four hours, and then the next time you burn for two hours, and the next time you burn for eight hours, and then, the next, you know, those real world, uh, tests that we're supposed to do to make sure this handle is safe all the way through to the bottom of that jar. So I do do that once I have my wick figured out. Lots of, lots of testing with this whole candle making business. Lots of testing. <laughs> I hate testing them. <laughs> it's part of it, right? If I want to sell candles, I have to test. Guys, if you have any suggestions for me or other viewers of this video that uh, you think that would help us along, 
feel free to drop those in the comments below. I love reading your comments and I have learned so much from you guys over the years that I I just appreciate you all so much. So if you feel like I should be doing something a little differently, let me know. I'm using the 730 or Premier 700 wick, wicks in my drawers and I've been very happy with those. I'm um, again, nine ounce jars, which equates to seven ounce of product. So I have my my um, wax and my fragrance oil equaling to seven for each jar. Um, yeah, that's it. Let me know if you have any thoughts. Thank you so much for supporting me and, and then helping us all along. I appreciate that. And I'm, I'm rambling, so <laughs> I should probably get off here. Give me a thumbs up, guys, if you liked it. Give me a thumbs down if you hated it. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, because why not? Show some love, right? Show me some love. Hit that subscribe button, and then I'll see you in the next video. Bye.